All right, here's the 2018 Ram Promaster. You can see it's got upgraded, oversized Pirelli all-terrain tires. It's got uh, rear bunk windows for ventilation in the back. Here's the rear. And all of this stuff is included. And there's a separate video for that. You can see the 35 gallon water tank, 400 amp hours of lithium ion batteries with a 3000 watt inverter. You can also see the bed area. We've got two monitors and uh, a, the desk configuration is currently set up in the back. There are five of these mounts around the van. There's one here, two when this is converted into a couch, and then one on the other side of the bed and one up front. Up here you can see storage for your clothing. Here you can see the all the uh, electrics, uh, electrical panels uh, for the heater, um, USB chargers, the inverter, water pump, light, and the, the wine guard system uh, that's on the roof. And here coming into the van, you have uh, the, the kitchen that extends about halfway to the sliding door. There are two flip-up tables, one external and one internal. And that, sleet, that seat will swivel around and you can use this as a desk or an uh, eating area. Here's a better angle from inside where you can see the passenger seat swiveled around with uh, the countertop extended and you can see you've got a lot of counter space in the van. And here you can see a better view of the table that was mounted in the rear up front with both of the chairs swiveled to face each other so you can sit here and share a meal or coffee. You can also see the high-end trim in the van. Hardwood laminate floors throughout. The tiger stripe bamboo countertops. And then the ceiling is tongue and groove pine that was uh, burned using a torch to give it a uh, unique color. Next is the restroom. This is a Lavio dry flush toilet. And here, We've got a low flow uh, shower head and an additional shower wand. Um, there's fully uh, hot water in the van. And when I wasn't showering, I used this as a closet with uh, hooks and things in there so you can hang your clothing. And here you can see the shower door closed. It's got a retractable marine style enclosure. You push this in and it'll slide back so you can shower without getting water all over the place. Okay, up here on the roof, you can see we've got four 100 watt solar panels. That's the SureCall 4G signal booster. That's the WineGuard Wi Fi signal booster. And this is a Max Air fan for ventilation. Next, we'll talk a little bit about the kitchen. So you've got a full-size, uh, deep stainless steel kitchen sink with modern appliance, or modern faucet. And then this is a two-stage uh, water filter spout. Um, you've got a corral here with keep some dry goods and salt and pepper and things like that there. And then here's where I kept the bar. It'll fit six full-size bottles of alcohol. And here you've got the the Novacool refrigerator. It's 3.3 cubic feet. It runs off of DC and it's got a built-in freezer. Under the sink you've got plenty of storage to include the trash and all of the included electrical appliances and cleaning supplies. 
Also you can see the two water filters mounted under the sink. I'll do my best to film the cabinet space. So there's a huge amount of storage in the van. Uh, this side I used for, I uh, had custom shelves put in and this divider. Um, this is where I put all my linens and bathroom things and a lot of storage. This side was general storage with a lot of backpacks and it's got hangers and things you can see. Also kept a, a fan in here. This is the um, uh, the amplifier for the 4G signal booster. So the, the retransmitted signal comes out of this antenna. This is the uh, charge controller for the solar. And then there's a bunch of electronics behind this box uh, where the all of the control panels for the electronics come in through that other side of that wall. All, all these uh, slide outs are soft close. And in here, this is where I keep all the camera equipment. Once again, all this is included. A drone, um, Sony A7X camera, um, a smart controller, audio devices, um, a light setup, and there's also a, a 110 port here so you can charge everything. And then there's a undermounted shelf here where I kept laptops and things like that. And then here on the other side, you've got the same undermounted shelf, and you've got several different tripods, and this is kind of a lot of um, kind of adventure gear with duct tape and paracord and first aid kit, things like that. And then here is the uh, where all the dishes are stored, and then the, the upper drawer has all the silverware. Everything you'll need in there. And this portion is where I, I used as a pantry and stored food. And then below, you can see there's additional storage. That's where most of the cooking appliances are and the uh, wireless uh, shop vac. And you can see there's um, storage nets here and here. And then there's also a mirror mounted here so you can uh, see yourself as you're getting ready. There's also a uh, pantry and storage area above uh, the kitchen where I usually kept coffee and um, a lot of dry goods and canned food and things like that. You got the mountain decal on the front and then there's uh, an additional locking mechanism here since things tended to want to exit that cabinet. So next we've got the bed area. Here's an additional mount for the lagoon table that we can move around. And then here you've got access to the garage from the inside and principally all of the tools and everything so you can access things quickly and easily. This is a full-size queen bed with um, six inches of memory foam mattress. Um, it's cut into three pieces because this transforms into a seating area with two desks. You can see all of the electrical uh, controls are here. You've got storage for your cell phone and other things at night. You've got an additional light up here. And you've got a light that turns on above and it's on dimmers so you can make it brighter or less bright. And then over here you can see we've got two monitors. So this is a 27 inch Samsung Smart TV and this is a 27 inch Samsung curved monitor. Uh, and they're mounted on these, these arms that kind of fold out and you can move around. So you can swivel this one to face inside the van or that one to face outside. Or when it's set up into the seating area with the desks, you can move them however you need for your individual workflow. Here from the back, you can see the bed area when it's set up into seating mode. Feet go down here and this has the same matching hardwood as the floors. You can see the, the monitors and the desks. Here you can see 
the bed set up into desk mode. So this is where you sit, your feet go down, and then there's two desks. Typically I would put my laptop here and then have my mouse and keyboard here. And then here's the USB-C that hooks up to the docking station. So you plug this into your computer and then the mouse and keyboard work and both monitors are set up um, and it's very easy to swap um, between there. Um, there is an extra HDMI cable behind there. So this work area can actually be set up for two people each one with their own desk and with their own monitor um, seated side by side and these both these mo monitors are tethered currently but they swivel out and you can adjust them as needed and as you can see here as you're transitioning between bed mode and couch mode the two desks become part of the platform that the bed sits on and these just slide out to, be, to become part of the floor or the desks. Finally up here in the cab you've got all the header storage. There's a heating pad, a heating blanket up there um, and there is um, all the window shades. So there's one for the windshield, both windows and the sliding door. Up front, you've also got a phone mount, and this is a um, a screen that has uh, front-facing and rear-facing dash cams, and you can constantly see behind you from the the rear dash cam because you can't see out the back through your normal rearview mirror. The van also has a, a full compressor air conditioning unit. You can see the ducting for it here. Um, you can take that and just pull it up into the bed area. It'll keep it uh, nice and cool at night. There's also a heater uh, that also is a hot water heater. It hooks into the gasoline tank. So you've got infinite hot water and uh, the warm air from the heater blows out uh, beneath the fridge and keeps it nice and warm in the van. Here's the rear of the van. You can see in there, that's the air conditioning unit and that's the duct, the ducting. You just pull the ducting up onto the bed um, and provide cold air at night. This is the water tank. It is 35 gallons and it has a, a, a brass quick connect fill right there. Um, you have four 100 amp hour lithium batteries, a 3000 watt inverter, and lots of, lots of storage space down here with this 800 pound slide out where all of the gear I just showed you fits in here. Here we'll talk about everything in the kitchen you'll use to cook. So everything in the van for cooking is um, electric powered. There's no propane or anything like that you have to worry about in the van. Um, so first we've got a 2.2 horsepower Blendtec blender. If you've ever used one of those, they're pretty hardcore. Um, and the, the 3000 watt inverter is enough uh, to power that. Um, you've got a pour over coffee carafe and, or Chemex and a French press a water kettle, coffee grinder, um, you've got a uh, sandwich press slash uh, griddle, uh, electric skillet, rice maker, toaster, induction cooktop with all the pots and pans you'll need as well as kind of a backup um, propane camp stove and that should be everything that you need uh, to cook basically anything in the van. Okay, so we'll do a quick rundown of everything that's included with the van. We'll start with the gym equipment. So we've got a weighted vest and extra weights. It goes up to 50 pounds. We have two parallettes, a 45 pound sandbag, foam roller, um, 
on this piece of AstroTurf here. Uh, the bar for the pull-up bars between the doors. Uh, Av mat, 50 pound kettlebell, 20 pound medicine ball, 20 pound slam ball, gymnastics rings, 35 pound kettlebell, and uh, weight sled. So you can throw the weight on there and drag it. Uh, next we've got two adjustable dumbbells. Each one go up to 50 pounds and just rotate the handle to adjust the weight. Um, also here we have um, a hammock, uh, hammock tent and a uh, lightweight sleeping bag so you can camp. We have the flexible hose with inline filter for filling the water tank. Uh, we've got snorkeling gear and rock climbing gear with a harness, carabiner, um, belay device, chalk bag, uh, and kind of everything you need apart from shoes and apart from shoes to, to do bouldering. Um, so next we'll talk about some of the other equipment here. So we've got an electric mountain bike from Dost. It has, with the extra battery pack, has about a 120 mile range. Comes with a helmet with GoPro mount, goggles, um, the, the, the pack that goes on the rear there. We've got a stand up paddle board, uh, which also includes um, some kayak paddles. And we have a lot of the um, maintenance and safety equipment. So we've got an entire tool set here to include a drill and spare parts and everything you'll need to fix the van. We've got a battery powered um, shop vac um, so you can vacuum everything. A 50 foot extension cord that allows you to hook up to shore power. Um, we have an air compressor uh, to dust everything off if you're out in the desert, which comes in, in handy there. It's got a, a one gallon tank um, and it's powerful enough to really get the sand off of everything. And then we have a smaller air compressor to uh, inflate the tires and stuff on the bike. And we've got um, a jack, two jack stands, jumper cables, uh, foldable traction boards, um, a Pioneer Axe kit, I've also got the Starlink satellite internet. Uh, we've got a hammock chair that you can hang from uh, either the pull-up bar in the back of the van or you know, a tree or something somewhere. And we've got the uh, just folding camp chair here. And all of this is included with the van.